here we got our Zenith carburetor along with our factory distributor. Got those put on the bench. Let's go ahead and take these apart and get those rebuilt. I'll show you the new parts that we got while we're doing it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and tackle the distributor here. So first thing we're going to take out this cable here, this shielded cable, just so it's out of the way. It's kind of big and cumbersome. So get that out of there. And it just gets pushed onto actually the bottom plate here with spring tension. And that's what actually sends electricity from the <clears throat> ignition switch to the distributor to say, hey, let's start working. From there, we then take out the cam. Right, so this is a distributor cam for the points. So I have a special tool here. Has a little tooth there that coincides directly with that cam. Go ahead, put it on, and then get a big old screwdriver because it's a big flathead. And start unscrewing it. There we go. So that screw's got a little washer along with the lock washer there. Put this this side so we don't lose it. Get our tool there. We'll go ahead and take off the cam. Uh, I do have actually a, a new cam. This is actually pretty new as well, but I also have a brand new one that's not even opened. So I'm gonna put that in. From there, move those little clamps out of the way. The upper plate is held in once you take that cam off by just little tabs. So you twist it to the point that they pop open. There we go. Then you got a little spring there. You're going to want that for the next one. And this one is held together, the original, from the upper plate, sorry, from the lower plate to the upper plate with the wire. That's what we're getting rid of with the wireless bottom plate. So that would be really great because these are known to fail uh, from moving back and forth and just getting old and brittle. So we're going to take this screw off. just to get the upper plate out of the way. This little screw is held on by 11 seconds bolt. So, ooh, it went. So there we go there. There we go. All right, now it's got two flathead screws right here that hold this on. And also it's got a screw on the condenser. So you gotta take the screw out of the, the original condenser and those two screws there that hold it to the casting. There we go, got that screw out. We're gonna take this screw out as well that holds the condenser to the case just to get the condenser out of there, and out of the way. Bada bing, bada boom. Now the two screws that are on that bottom plate One screw done. There's our second screwed. Got that taken care of. We're gonna go ahead and blow this out a little bit, make sure just all cleaned up. And then we'll start putting the other pieces back in. And who knows, we might even get started today. So this is our wireless bottom plate. It's wireless because it actually, normally they would have a wire going from the bottom plate up to the upper plate, going from this little portion where that uh, shielded wire comes into with the spring. But we got a little brass spring here that will actually, that will actually touch the upper plate using this little brass uh, connection here. So it will be a solid connection all the way through. There's no worry about wire getting damaged or anything like that. As long as the little guy gets held on to the uh, upper plate, it's good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and screw this in. And installation is just reverse of uh, taking it out. 
So we're going to screw this in, get our two little screws with our lock washers. Let's see if I can put this in by hand first because it's a little tedious. Aye, aye, aye. There we go. First one done. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so. Next thing is we're gonna take the new modern upper plate with our little tab here. We're gonna take off this first nut. If I can. Huh? All right, so take this little nut off. This guy will go on just like that. And if you look, it's got a little cutout in that new upper plate right there. So put that on. We'll get our nut back on here. There we go. Perfect, so we got continuity between the lower plate and the points right there. So we are good to go on that. So now we just gotta put the cam back on. All right, so we got our new cam. I'm gonna go ahead Put it on, but we'll have to adjust these points because it's already not even touching. At this point, I guess I was getting frustrated and didn't really talk a whole lot during the video, but put the gauge that the upper plate came with between the points and the stop. But every time I try to tighten down the bracket that the points are on, the whole dang thing moves, either the whole upper plate or the bracket itself. So it got really frustrating, but I would probably say that if you're gonna put this on, I would maybe adjust the points as far as the bracket and everything else that it's on while it's on the motor. Here I already put the screw in for the cam, you don't tighten down that screw that holds the cam to the actual distributor shaft until the distributor is on the vehicle and you're timing it for top dead center. And I show you how to do that in the video that I have linked in the description where I do like a full rundown of how I got this Model A running for the car show that I that I put it in. I appreciate you guys watching. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all that good stuff. Hopefully this was some good information for you on how to replace the upper plate with a modern upper plate and a wireless lower plate.